thank you very much for staying with uh, SA Today on uh, SABC News. And of course, our much anticipated uh, conversation. And uh, we are fortunate that we were able uh, to get in studio with us uh, Prince Magosutu Butelezi to discuss more about uh, the earlier events uh, that took place in uh, Joburg today. Thank you so very much, uh, Prince Magosutu Butelezi Baba. We appreciate you uh, coming to our studios uh, today. I mean, you delivered a message uh, today. And um, unfortunately, some of those that were in attendance that came to uh, hear your speech ended up sort of walking away disrupting you how do you feel about that in terms of you know what you were trying to achieve today and maybe we should go back a step and talk about what you, in essence you were trying to achieve uh, today thank you no about that you know I've been published right, for more than 60 70 years I mean for me it's just an incident what is important is what I came to do yeah because the police told me that these people have actually looted all the bottle stores in the area and yeah. that they were drinking the whole night. Uh -huh. So it was not, it's not comfortable when people disrupt your speech, which is what they were doing. And they were leaving and I said they should go. Those who want to go must leave. But they returned and still continue to, to, to now and then to heckle and so on. Uh, now, you know, uh, you would have seen that uh, there's been recent, uh, now fresh violence in the Joburg. There's recent violence now in the Joburg. Uh, yes, yes CBD I was concerned the, about it. Yes, and some people are saying that um, that it was some of the people that had come to listen to your speech, and some of them were carrying pangas, and uh, yes. that they were trying to attack some of the, the, the foreign nationals. You'll see we've got, we had some of the visuals earlier on from our reporter who's on, on the scene there. What do you say in response to that? I mean, the fact that, Baba, you were there to try and stop uh, some of this, to sort of be the middle man in terms of uh, this, uh, this violence that, that, that's happening, and then you hear shortly after uh, your speech that this violence has sort of uh, picked up again. You know, what are your views on that? In fact, I, I very, I'm very depressed because I'm depressed for my country. Yeah. Because my country is in a crisis, and as an elder, I feel very, very concerned, especially because I tried to say I hadn't come to judge yeah. anyone. Yeah. Uh, my, 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 my message was to say that we're family with, with other African countries, mm -hmm. and that therefore families have differences and so on, but that the main thing is that we need each other, and, and I reminded them of the history of our people and the interdependence mm -hmm. that exists between countries, and the fact that even this year I attended the birthday of former president Olusegun Obasanjo uh, in Nigeria, who, who invited me to deliver a lecture at his birthday. Yeah. And in fact, in 1976, I, I, I told them that when Transkai uh, actually accepted the so-called independence, he sent three tickets for me, for my wife, and, and two other people, yeah. because he didn't want me to go to Transkai. Yeah. And he came during the time of the uh, Commonwealth rupture between our country and the Commonwealth as, a, as one of the eminent persons group. And, and I told them about this relationship. In all my life, I've always said that Africa will be salvaged by two countries, mm. mainly South Africa and, and Nigeria, because of, of, the, of, the, the, of the fact that they, 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 they are, uh, their economies are more advanced than other countries in Africa. Mm. So. I said now there are sanctions already. Well, our stores are being attacked even in, in Nigeria. The football team from Zambia didn't come. But this has consequences for us. And I said that the situation in the country is going to get worse. Okay. And the situation is bad enough as it is today. Because we know that the unemployment today is actually about almost 30%. And it's getting worse. And this very thing, this behavior, in fact, is like shooting ourselves on the foot. Because really, many people who would help us from other countries would not, would not help us. And I said, I spoke also as a former minister of home affairs. Yes. I was very acquainted with the problem. That I, in 1994, I tried to, you know, to deal with this problem of undocumented people who came into the country and so on. And some, actually, when I was trying to do my work, because of the porous boundaries yeah. of our country, actually... Blame me to the extent that, as an Anglican, you know, one of our bishops, the Bishop Dennis uh, Sangulani, who is the bishop of the Anglican Church in Morilambek, had to write me to say that I was the problem, uh, uh, you know, uh. about the flow of food coming in. Because 
I tried then to pass the immigration uh, bill, which, which, which went through a lot of difficulties yeah. because I was not trusted. Because I was trying to get those skills that we need, you know, and, and shut the door for, for people who, who actually come in, you know, for other Undocumented, motives. Undocumented, yeah. You know, I earlier spoke to uh, Professor Lisiba Defu and he said that's exactly it. That's exactly what uh, the problem is, is our porous uh, uh, borders. And, you know, one doesn't want to become a, a, a Trump in the matter and talk about high walls and all of this. But from where you stand and you talk about the fact that you, you have the experience uh, from the time, of course, that you were uh, Minister of Home Affairs, what do you believe now must actually be done in order to address uh, the issue of w what is being called our, our porous uh, our borders? Well, I'm very worried. I'm a worried man today. Why? Because that meeting was a meeting for, of our minister, minister, uh, the minister of police. Yes. But certain people interfered with it. So he told me he was no longer going. But I said that because of the seriousness of the matter, because I'd agreed to, jo to, I'd agreed to join him. I said I would proceed, you see. Then yesterday I was informed that the MEC, Ms. Masibogo, was also coming today to be with me. But later I heard that Ms. Makura, the Premier, you know, uh, actually forbade him to come to the meeting. Mm -hmm. And that worried me more than anything because it seems to me that we are fiddling while Rome is burning. Yes. I mean, you, you know, it you, seems to me they have not realized the seriousness of what we are facing as a country. Yeah, but but tell us, you know, you've intervened in in many situations. You have a very rich uh, political uh, history and uh, background. Um, you know what, what happened today, where you know one would have thought you're the perfect person today to come and speak um, mm. to to the the, the crowd at uh, JP's town. If you look, you know, and I suppose this it's just happened. When you look back now, and Think to yourself, what could have you know? What could have gone wrong? I've done this before. I've mediated before. I've spoken before. Is this way past uh, the point of talking, or where one someone like you can indeed intervene in in, in, a, in a situation like this? Have we have we totally gone gone past the point of talking? Well, I, I was actually very discouraged when when Induna said I must you know pass on their grievances and so on and so on, and he said mm -hmm. that he's giving government 24 hours. I thought that was ridiculous. Yeah. And I thought that if a person like that who influences people has ideas like that, in fact, in fact, we're really in trouble in this yeah. country. Yeah. I know, uh, Babu Teres, you've recently um, stepped down as uh, the leader of uh, the IFP. And just to sort of move a little bit uh, away from uh, this conversation, um, how has that been for you in terms of, you know, this organization that uh, you, you, you've led for so very long uh, to now be sort of uh, taking a back seat and now being thrust into uh, something as, as, as so something like this that we're faced with now in the country where we have this xenophobia uh, violence we kind of I'm sure you thought this is your time to relax and rest um, uh, how do you feel and how has this time um, stepping away from your party uh, been for you no actually I said long ago even when I retired mm. that as long as I'm alive where I'm needed by the president of the AIF here I'll do so yeah. so I'm actually I'm very happy myself because I know that I handed over the baton to the right person you know who will take the party forward. Yeah. That I was happy about because, you know, I was worried all the time about leaving and, 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 and then my party cr collapses. Mm. But then also the election in May actually gave me more courage because our party is doing very well. Yeah, what do you what do you see as uh, the the future really of uh, the the IFP? And I imagine, as you say, you will the still future. be the, the future of, of of the the IFP of the party uh, mm. with, uh, without you, you being the, the head. For me, uh, I, I, I would love that. I'm, I'm sure you know where the party would be going, having been part of. I've already yeah, said that yeah. the president of the IFP, uh. Mr. Verengo uh, Sabisa, is an experienced leader. Uh. He is a school principal. He has been a mayor. A mayor. He grew up in my, he actually, I would say he's one of my protégés. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I, I, I'm quite confident that, you know, I've worked with him. And even during the election, I know that he's a born strategist. And, uh, and I yeah. think my party could not have been in better hands than his hands. All right. And speaking of strategy, just in closing, what would be the um, advice, I suppose, that uh, you would have uh, for our government now in dealing with, um, as you put it, as you rightly put it, with Rome burning? Well, actually, I, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very sad, especially about 
the withdrawal of, of Ms. Masibogo because the meeting was supposed to be a government meeting. And because of the seriousness of the situation, I, I'm not a newcomer to the, you know, to, to, to what you call. I know that the, the riches that we have in South Africa oh. were produced by thousands of people who came from southern countries. You know, I married a, a girl from uh, Johannesburg and at the Dublin A chamber uh, where all people who came from all the countries came every day. I'm, I'm quite acquainted that I know how much they've contributed to, to our country as it is today. Uh -huh. And actually, I'm, I'm very sad that you know, if anyone, you know, takes, a, takes an attitude that this, well, is not important, I think that um, I, I can see my, our country actually collapsing myself. All right, Baba, let me just ask you one last thing then. Um, of course, we had the uh, recent passing of uh, the former president of uh, Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe. We know that uh, you were together at uh, Fort Hay. Um, what is uh, your message uh, then? To yes, I'm, I'm very saddened yeah. by the death of... Ms. Mugabe, because even we were students together at the university, yeah. and also later, when I became minister, I would go to Zimbabwe to talk with my counterpart in Zimbabwe, and we would meet, and he would joke with me about how I was rusticated from the university for my activi act political activities, and, and so on. He always regaled me with, with that. Oh. And uh, therefore, and then he came to South Africa, for, to the Sadak meeting, and because I had criticized him, I went and greeted him, and he said, why are you so hard on me? <laughs> and, and of course, I just smiled too, because of the, the kind of relationship that we had with him. I mean, he contributed, you know, a lot to the liberation, not only of, our, of the country, but also our country, our people who actually were exiles in, in Zimbabwe, and in some actions, in, I think in Wanki, the, our people actually participated with, with, with them, you know, in, in an effort to uh, liberate our country. It was unfortunate, of course, later that his um, actions you know, and so on uh, portrayed him, you know, as as a despot and so on, and, and a, someone who did not regard human rights as he should have done. All right. Uh, Prince Magosuchi Butelis, we appreciate you uh, coming to the studios. I know I hijacked you on a number of issues, but it's not often uh, that we're lucky enough to have you in our studio. So thank you uh, for giving us your thank time. Thank you for the opportunity. And too. we do appreciate thank it. Thanks. And safe travels back to uh, KZN. Thanks very much. All right. Let's, uh,